an evening meal for offenders to get together with musicians, many who work in the criminal justice system, before a session to write songs. It's part of a project aimed at giving offenders a way of expressing problems in their lives which may have led to criminality. This song, under early construction, has been written by Joanne Syme to express what she says are years lost to addiction. Now she's six years sober, looking after her family again and hoping to make her first plane trip to take them on holiday. It's a great release and if I hadn't got into music when I did, um, I think my life would have been a wee bit different. I feel that you get to express yourself, you can get your feelings out without actually having to sit down with somebody in a one-to-one, -one, really, really kind of official and, and sit there and talk to somebody. You can scribble it down on a bit of paper and you can put a bit of music to it and make it into something amazing. It doesn't need to be all doom and gloom. You can make it fun, you can make it upbeat, and it really, really helps the mind. The charity behind this scheme sends professional musicians to prisons, also working with offenders back in the community. It believes if society punishes offenders, it should also help them reintegrate once they've served their sentence. It's a long journey and it's a, it's a battle, especially when thinking about things like addiction, which is just an ongoing struggle that people have for sometimes their whole lives. Uh, and so I don't think anyone could claim to be the spark, the one thing that, that changes someone's life for the good forever, but to be part of the, the kind of good fight, if you like, um, is all we, can, all we can hope to do. Songs written with professional musicians like Chris Drever are now on a well-received album, with last night's concert showcasing the work. The Vox Liminis project, which is behind the album and tonight's concert here in Glasgow, says it's produced 250 songs in the past five years, written by offenders and ex-offenders. It says it hopes it will give them a way of expressing themselves and perhaps find a new direction in life away from crime. Reva Alderson reporting Scotland, Glasgow. We're just going to keep on going. Is everyone okay?